Well, hello and welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is about PopAI.pro. PopAI.pro is an AI assistant that helps you make your personal workspace better. In what ways? Well, there are three main features for Pop AI Pro. You can chat with documents, you can have an AI presentation, and you can have some features with images. And we're going to get into all of these features very soon. Before that, we're going to take a look at the payment packages. So here, if you click on upgrade to pro, you have some packages. Now you could pay monthly or you could pay annually. However, there are three payment packages. There is the free one, which is what we're currently on. There is the pro and there is the unlimited. And as you can see, each of these packages have their complementary features. The unlimited, of course, they're leaving the door wide open for you to do anything and everything that the, that the website has to offer for you at three $33 per month and the pro gives you $8.3 per month with its own features. So let's get right on it. So of course, the very first thing we see here is the main dashboard. It's divided into two. You have the main workspace here, your personal AI workspace, and you have the left sidebar. The left sidebar has the chat with document, AI presentation, AI image, and you have your chat history. And of course, we have the new chat. The new chat is right down here. We could send a message. We could ask a simple question. So this is a very basic question. What is the longest river in the world? So we're going to go ahead and search for that. As you can see, the answer is here. The longest river in the world is the Nile River stretching approximately 4135 miles in length. So that's straightforward. And that's the answer. So now we've asked the question. It has answered the question. We're going to try another feature of this website, chat with document. So we're going to click on chat with document. And the whole idea behind this is to, you could basically drop a file, drop a PDF, drop a document, and you could ask questions. You could chat and ask the AI questions based on the information in that document. And it's supposed to give you answers. You could think of the different applications for this, but first of all, let's try it. So after uploading this document, actually the name of this document is Zoom Rooms, Zoom Rooms Full User Guide. So it's a PDF from Zoom. And basically I put the document here. And one of the cool features it has is on one side, it produces or it extracts the pictures of the document. So it has displayed the different pictures. And you could see here in the picture, I could click on it and you could see I could have insights, I could extract data, I could view it in English or any other language. I could actually chat with it. And then here it gives me a breakdown of basically this document. So before I'm even asking any questions, it's already giving me a breakdown of the summary of this document. And at the bottom, it has some questions you may want to ask. For example, how do I start a scheduled meeting? I could go right ahead and click on it and see the answer. So as you can see, it has produced the answer to this. It says tap on the home icon, tap on your scheduled topic, tap to start the ini to initiate the meeting. Now, this is really cool because you might have a manual and you don't want to go reading everything and you also find it cumbersome to go searching through the index. So you could upload it here and ask the question. And even from the pictures, as we mentioned earlier, you could, you could have insights, extract data, and other things like that. So for example, if you want to extract insights or get some insights on this picture, here it explains the picture. It's a really cool feature and it's really, really nice because it gives you insight on the different pictures in whatever document that you have also given it. So the, the chat with document feature is awesome. It helps you to understand documents and digest the information at a faster rate. And now the other feature is the AI presentation. Now, when we think of presentations um, for the most, for some of the popular um, applications, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, we could think of making presentations from that. But you also have this in popai.pro. As you can see, there are different templates. And here at the top area here, you have my projects, my templates, recommended and all. So currently we're looking at everything, all. 
because that's what's selected. And if you have projects that you're currently handling, it's going to be under my projects. And of course, if you have templates that you have saved, you have your templates. And if you're looking for um, recommendations of templates to use, what, what templates you're going to use, or what other things, features you want to use is still in here, you could go ahead and go to recommendation and it shows you the details. Now for the AI image, you have to actually be on a premium plan, say pro or unlimited in order to use the AI image uh, feature. But if we go back to the presentation, here in the presentation, we can actually select one to see how nice it looks. So we're going to select this one. So now we've selected it and the number of pages by default for this template is 15 pages. So we're going to give it uh, some instructions to follow. So we have the uh, instruction here, promoting more sustainable and environmentally friendly food packaging, right? So say that is the topic, we're going to have that and this will definitely get to generate a presentation for us based on this topic. And of course, you could select the language you want. So there are several languages here we could have and you get to select that. Of course, we're speaking in English, so we're going to have it in English. Here in the image search, we have the basic search because there are three options. The other options require uh, a higher plan. So we're currently on the free one and it cannot handle the AI search or the AI generation for images. As you can see, it's currently generating so much information based on the topic we actually put in the prompt. And now it says that the outline is ready and this looks really cool, right? So we're scrolling down and we have this information here, which we could look through and you could see the sources. So it also provides sources of where it got its, its information from. So you could regenerate this outline, of course, but see this is really good and we're fine with it. We can go ahead. The content here has three sections, section one, section two, section three. You see this really makes your productivity increase because the time you would use to write this from scratch, the structure you would give to it, this AI has actually helped you to create the structure at least, create uh, some information that you could work with, fine tune it and make it more personal, but it saves a lot of time. And then we have, after the regenerate outline, we also have the create presentation option. However, the create presentation option is also not free. It's in the pro and in the unlimited plan. So you have to upgrade to that. But you can see here that it has actually generated an outline. So you can see at the top here, you can see the time of the, 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 the phases which it has. The first phase is to have the topic which we gave it to it, promoting sustainable food packaging. And it also adds something, a path to environmental stewardship, right? It adds it to its twist. Of course, you could still ask anything here, as we've seen in the other option, chatting with the document. In this case, you're, it's possible to chat with the outline that it has actually produced. So in everything, we've seen that popai.pro is a wonderful AI assistant that helps you make wonderful use of documents, helps you to digest documents a lot faster. You could ask document questions and the AI is going to answer those questions from the document that you gave it. You could think of the different applications here, maybe put in books here, PDF books, and actually getting a summary of these books and actually understanding the book, maybe if you're like me, not reading it completely. And then you have the AI presentation, which is what we are currently on. The features are limited because we're currently on the free plan and the AI image is actually awesome, but it's also not in the free plan. You have to have the pro or the limited and you have the chat history. Remember, in our chat history, we started by asking about the longest river and then we we also checked the Zoom document. We chatted with the document to find information that would be useful to us. So that's all we could say for now on the popai.pro. I hope you get to use it and have fun with it.